In this video, I will show how I built and tested these 3D printed harmonic drives that I designed in the previous video. I will also compare their performance to this metal harmonic drive that I bought on eBay. All harmonic drives have a transmission ratio of 30 to 1. To recap, I designed two types of harmonic drives, the cup style and pancake style. The difference is mainly in how the flex spline, which is the output of the drive, is designed. I use this tool that I made, which you can find on my website. Here you can simulate and download the correct teeth profiles, which are based on the original patent of the harmonic drive. JLC PCB offered to provide some of the components free of charge. They offer different 3D printed materials to select from, but I went with nylon, which I think should have the best performance. They offer MJF and SLS methods for printing nylon. Both show the same specs for tolerance and minimum wall thickness, which is important for making accurate teeth. However, MJF nylon is stronger and more rigid than SLS nylon. I ordered the parts in both materials so I can compare. I simply uploaded the files to their website and I get the price instantly. In terms of cost, both are very affordable when printing the flex spline, which is the critical component in the harmonic drive. The other pieces are a bit larger, so they're more expensive. However, I'm sure these can be printed in a regular FDM printer to save some cost without any impact on performance. They also offer CNC services at a very reasonable price. For example, the flex spline for the pancake harmonic drive was only $40 in aluminum and anodizing included. Perhaps I will try this in another video. In the previous video, I mentioned that I suspected that keeping the module as small as possible would improve efficiency. So I did some initial torque tests with three different module sizes, and the results show that this seems to be true, which is good news as this allows us to keep the design compact. I would say another indication of this is that real harmonic drives have very small teeth. For example, this harmonic drive for NEMA 17 stepper motors have teeth much smaller than the ones I 3D printed. Based on the outer diameter and number of teeth, I calculated the module to be approximately 0.4, so about half of my design. Okay, let's quickly show how the harmonic drives go together. Let's start testing these harmonic drives. I will measure mainly two things, torque efficiency and the backlash. For measuring the torque efficiency, I first need to know the torque of the NEMA 17 stepper motor I have. Using this force gauge, we can see a peak reading of 1.6 newtons. The lever is 0.15 meters. This means the torque of the motor is 0.24 newton meters. With a reduction of 30 to one in the harmonic drives. The ideal torque we should see is 7.2 newton meters. We can use this ideal value to calculate the harmonic drive efficiency. By the way, in the previous video, I showed two designs for the wave generator. This one has two deep groove ball bearings, and this one has individual ball bearings. The idea with this design is that more teeth will be engaged. However, this could reduce the efficiency as it might generate more friction, and this seems to be the case. Torque measurements showed that the design with the deep groove ball bearings have higher efficiency. So I will be using this one for the rest of the tests. I think this is good news as this design is much simpler 
and can be printed as one piece. For the torque measurements, I will be using this torque wrench adapter with a resolution of 0.01 newton meters. I will test different materials for the flex spline. As mentioned, I received from JLC PCB the flex spline in nylon, but I also printed it in PLA and ABS glass fiber. This is the cup style design with the MJF nylon flex spline. The average torque reading is about 3 newton meters which ends up being an efficiency of 42%. Keep in mind, this is without any lubrication. This is the torque test of the pancake style with the MJF nylon flex spline. It shows an average of 2.3 newton meters, which is an efficiency of 32%. This is a summary of the different torque tests. We can see that in terms of flex spline material, the MJF nylon has higher torque output. And as suspected, the cup style harmonic drive has better performance than the pancake. We can also see that the metal harmonic drive gives a torque of five Newton meters. At this value, it seems the teeth start slipping. This means an efficiency of about 70%. For testing the backlash, I am using a drop gauge. These drives are not back drivable. So I'm just applying light force in both direction and seeing the total displacement. The one shown here is the cup harmonic drive. And this one is the pancake harmonic drive. The lever arm is 150 millimeters. One variable we can play with to improve backlash is the compression on the flex spline. So I made a second wave generator with higher deflection. I will show the results for both. For comparison, this is the metal harmonic drive. Shows about 0.002 degrees of backlash, or 9 arc seconds. This is the summary of the backlash tests. The backlash improves as we increase the flex blind compression with a bigger wave generator. However, we are not close to the performance of the metal harmonic drive. Perhaps a better comparison would be this other harmonic drive which I saw on a teardown video that it seems to have a plastic flex blind. The backlash spec is two arc minutes or 120 arc seconds, which is more comparable to our results. I also wanted to check if adding lubricant improves the performance of the harmonic drive. So I applied some PTFE lubricant to the inside and outside of the flex spline. Then I let it run for a few minutes before testing the torque output again. Lubricant does seem to have a small impact in the torque output. Previously, it was about 2.4 Newton meters with the larger wave generator. Now it is closer to three Newton meters. The last thing I tested was the max torque. I clamped the pancake harmonic drive and applied torque manually. I saw a peak of 13 Newton meters until the 3D printed adapter for my wrench broke. I did not see any damage to the flex spline or teeth. I think 13 Newton meters is a respectable number for these small teeth. And these are the final results where we can see the torque and backlash for the different cases. As a conclusion, I would say that 3D printed harmonic drives can be useful in certain applications with low torque requirements. For example, I built a Scara robot that is meant to be used as a pen plotter. Here you can see how the 3D printed harmonic drive can handle the loads without trouble. Let me know if you want me to make a video about this robot. I will make the files for both harmonic drives available on my website. Besides the harmonic drive simulator, I have other apps that you can use if you're planning to design your own speed reducer.